we're back. Thanks for joining us again, guys. We're picking up again today talking about low back pain. Last time that we were on talking about this, we were talking about mobility and basically how you would open up just normal range of motion again around your low back. So mobility is one piece of the solution to fixing low back pain, but if the only thing we do is just mobilize around the low back to help the back relax and stretch out, you're gonna constantly run into the same problem. Where what happens is you stretch out, you relax, you start moving, your back has no stability, those muscles don't know how to hold you in good position, and so their solution is to tighten back up again. So without actually strengthening your low back, if you're just doing mobility, you're never really gonna solve this problem. So tonight we're gonna to talk about how do you actually strengthen your midsection. So one of the things we wanna review first is really, what's the goal of getting you stronger in terms of how do we really make your spine more resilient? So this little bullseye that we created here is really just a picture if we were looking top down through your spine, this is a rough estimate of what your discs look like. So this big blue bullseye here is what we call the nucleus of the disc. And this is where this kind of gel-like tissue sits that gives you cushion through the disc. Now these little concentric rings that come around it are what we call the annulus. And that's what holds that fluid in place. So one of the things that we see when people are doing what they call core or abdominal exercises is they're constantly flexing and extending their spine, flexing and extending their spine back and forth. And we know because we've seen this in the research, they've seen this on the MRI, is when you flex and extend your spine, you're taking that little gel in the middle of your disc and squishing it down. And that gel gets pushed to the edges of that ring. And over time, it wears out those annular rings, and that's what eventually leads to that disc herniating or rupturing and that fluid leaking out onto the nerve roots and causing just exquisite back pain. So we need to understand, first of all, what we're after when we do abdominal exercises. Not to get better at flexing forward or extending backwards. It's getting better at holding your spine in a good position. This doesn't mean you can never flex or extend, but under load or with repetition, if we're flexing and extending, we know conclusively you're gonna wear out your low back. So let's jump in and talk about a couple of different ways that we can get you strong through your low back. So, one of the classic exercises we see people do in the gym, if we get down here with knees bent, is what we call an abdominal crunch. And as we do that, again, if we look at what's happening with the trunk, I'm flexing my spine and crushing those discs. So a better way to do this is to straighten out one leg, put your hand under your back, and then think about your head and your shoulders being on a weight scale and just trying to lift your head and shoulders up. If you feel any movement of your low back on your hand, either your back is pressing down into your hand or your back is arching away from your hand, you've lost that stability through the midsection and you're increasing the load on your spine. The goal is to hold up for at least five seconds, 10 seconds is ideal, and then come back down keeping that neutral position, which spares the spine that extra load. <clears throat> so that's a modified crunch. The second one is what we call the side plank. Some people call the side bridge. What we're working here is the oblique. So when we talk about strength around the spine, we're talking about strength in 360 degrees. It's not just your six pack, it's your obliques, your spinal erectors, your multifidi, all the little muscles around your spine that give you that corset-like stability. So in a side plank here, we can do this two ways. We want to stack the legs up. We want the elbow underneath the shoulder. We want to make sure the chest is in a neutral position that we're not rolled forward. Then we're going to pull our side up and lift our hip off the ground. Our lower leg should be off the ground. We shouldn't be pushing our feet into the ground or pointing our toes. We shouldn't be pressing this top leg into the bottom leg or the top foot into the bottom foot. We want to just be relaxed through the feet. We want to be engaged through this bottom side. We can be relaxed on the top here. Another way we can do this is just by bringing the top foot over 
and we're just working that bottom side and the side plank here. We can do that on each side as well. And then the third one that we like <coughs> to control twisting or rotation of the spine is what we call a bird dog. So we get in hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We need to find neutral spine first. You will, in hands and knees, always default to your normal standing position. So if you stand overextended, when you get into hands and knees, you'll be overextended. If you stand in a more flexed position, in hands and knees, you'll be flexed. So we go through what we call the cat camel first. Let your back arch down, push it up towards the ceiling, let it arch back down, pull it up about halfway, create some tension through your midsection, and then you're gonna extend one leg back and the other arm forward. Now we want to pay attention to this when we're in this position here that we stay tight through our middle. We're not shifting backwards with our trunk. We're not shifting forwards as we reach with our arm. We're keeping ourselves right in the middle here where we started and just moving around the hip and the shoulder. We want to hold this for up to 10 seconds, at least five seconds in this position. Come back in and do the same thing on the other side. You can see here I'm squeezing my fist and I'm pushing through my heel a little bit. I'm not trying to lift my leg off the ground because as soon as I do that, I lose position in my low back here. The goal again is stable around the spine, move around those primary engines of the shoulders and the hip. So in terms of how we program this, we're gonna do this in a pretty straightforward manner. We do this for a time index because we want to build endurance through the muscles here. So we're going to start with modified crunch. And we're going to do that for two minutes. Again, five to ten seconds holding each rep. Side plank. We're going to do for one minute per side. If you can't hold for an entire minute, start a timer. When you come back down, stop the timer. Make sure you can accumulate a minute on each side, even if you can't hold the whole minute. The last one, bird dog, is another two minute interval. Again, five to 10 seconds, hold in that opposite arm and leg extension. If you need a break, stop the timer. Make sure you accumulate two minutes. So these are our ideas about strength, if you're having back pain and the mobility exercises that we've given you and the strength exercises that are not solving that back pain, don't wait for that pain to go away. We've got plenty of room here and plenty of space to help you figure out your back pain if you can't solve this issue on your own. So give these things a try on your own. Let us know what you think. We'll talk to you again soon.